Tony Abbott says he will shirt front Vladimir Putin when he touches down in Brisbane next month. Is that the right approach for the Prime Minister to take to another world leader visiting Australia? Um, the PM, firstly the PM is not in uh, in the schoolyard any longer, he's PM and um, there is no call for that. Um, I think the rhetoric of the Prime Minister is extremely immature and um, there is absolutely no need for that and I, I would suggest that the um, PM start acting like a PM and extend the olive branch out. Now, uh, one of the points of contention in the relationship or in the bilateral relationship is the downing of MH17. The Prime Minister is unequivocal. He says the 38 Australians on board were murdered by Russian-backed rebels. Hasn't he got a right to press President Putin about this? This is what I believe, that if Putin had had a choice, Putin certainly would have made sure that would never have happened. That's the first thing. Secondly, the President should be treated like any other Australian and should be um, innocent until proven guilty. And thirdly, we need to go back to the first step. What the bloody hell was an airliner doing going over a war zone in the first place? That is the question we need to go back to. So you think it's important to keep the lines of communication open between Australia and Russia? Absolutely, I do. Um, The PM needs to keep those lines of communication wide open. There's no doubt about that. We have no idea what's going to happen in our future and we need to make sure that we're staying on good terms with as many world leaders as possible. Considering the fate of MH17, how do you think Australians will react to Vladimir Putin being in the country? Well, Vladimir Putin did not pull the trigger. That's the first thing I'll say and I think they should welcome Vladimir Putin into the country until, like I said, until he's, um, you know, either A, if he has any, played any part in that, until evidence of that comes out in the open. You, but I think you'll find with the man in Putin, Putin's got enough smarts. If Putin had had his own way, that would never have ever happened. He's not an idiot. And you like Vladimir Putin, don't you? You've been impressed by him. Yeah, I do like Vladimir Putin. I think, um, you know, he has very strong leadership and he has great values and, um, you know, he's certainly doing his bit to stamp out terrorism and, um, you know, you've got to, you've got to give the man, you've got to pay the man for that.